blood on the floor. Dean Panis here in Edmonton, Alberta. Just finished up Aggression MMA. Great night for me. I got to work with this man here. You might know him, you know, Boss Rutan. Boss, first of all, before we continue with anything else, I want to thank you, my friend, for walking me through tonight, uh, doing play-by-play, -play, and having you, you know, right beside me was incredible. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, you're very welcome, and you are very pleasant to work with. So it, it was easy. It's a roll in a, a walk in the park, is what they say, right? Well, and, uh, it was great. You did a great job, right? I mean, that was awesome. Thank you very much. Coming for you, that means a lot. The whole card to me was absolutely incredible. We had 15 fights tonight, go out without a hitch. You know, the action from start to finish, you know, you work a lot of up and coming shows as well as the pros. You've seen it from every level for many years. Were you impressed with this card tonight? No, I, I, I really was. And thank God a lot of fights didn't go to this was because otherwise we would have would have been here till like two o'clock or something. Uh, a lot of upcomers who want to show all the people in the world that they are here to fight. They want to put themselves on the map. Hopefully, like a bigger promotion is going to pick themselves up. That's the greatest part about this promotion also. We were sitting yesterday with Tim Hayes. Uh, Hank, we're sitting uh, at the radio station, and um, and he says, yeah, hopefully if I fight a few more fights here, then the UFC is going to take me back. Moyne is sitting there, the, the, the promoter of this show. You know, that's all good. These guys are saying, no, you can fight. There's no contracts. Go fly out, whatever you want. We just want you guys to fight here. And uh, and take care of you, so that's an awesome, an awesome thought about a promoter. And you touched on him, Tim the Thrasher Machine, Haig, returned to Edmonton tonight <laughs> against Zach Jensen. Tim did get in trouble early, but he finished the fight off with a devastating knee. You know what, he was in trouble. He was in trouble, normal person would have gone down, would have been over, but he knew that he could not lose this fight. And you saw it, because he was, I saw it, he was gonna go down, but he just fought himself back, 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 back. And you say, it's, it's like I said with me, I also, in the, in the past, I wanted to tap, you know, because I go, my shit, and then suddenly you go, and this other voice start talking to you, and he goes, no, 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 and he go, okay, no, he escaped. 20 seconds later, you knock him out. You go, like, okay, now we'll never do that again. Now, that was one of those moments for him. You know, he was rocked. He was going through the ring, but he said, I'm not going to lose this fight. And that's what you see. If a fighter is determined, you know, it's very hard to beat a guy like that. Absolutely, and I think returning to his hometown, fighting in front of the Edmonton fans, definitely helped him out tonight. A couple other great fights. Uh, you know, Sheldon Westcott, a big fight against Marini. Westcott prevailed with a guillotine choke. Yeah. That's that's always nice, you know. You come in, get a guillotine, bada bing, bada boom. It's uh, it's one of those jokes that in the beginning you surprise everybody with it. Nowadays everybody knows the guillotine, so it's actually harder to pull off because the defenses are easy, unless you do it the right way, and then you pull it off. So that's what he did. Also, uh, a little bit of a grudge match, settling the score. Ryan the Kid McGilvery, Andrew Buckland. Uh, Ryan McGilvery wins that fight. McGilvery was a, it, it was awesome. You know, little kid in the ring. You saw when he came into the ring that he meant action he was he was his eyes were glued on his opponent across the ring he did not take his eyes off like not a second constantly constantly go oh my god this is this guy when he did he kill his mother you know i mean he was like really on fire but then when he fights he doesn't bring that emotion into his fight he keeps nice and stay stays relaxed and that's you know that's one of those gifts you have to have because if you don't and you start you start fighting with emotion you know you start making mistakes that's the moment that you don't punch from here but then you start doing this you start loading up because you want to yeah, knock your opponent out that's when you make mistakes but he didn't do that he kept everything nice under control and one last fight i have to touch on i you know i got this opportunity to talk to you <coughs> african assassin mikai moromo comes in tonight against david fuentes david you know trains with hit squad and matt hughes african assassin everybody knows him as, as a stand-up fighter muay thai expert that fight was on the mat the whole night at least 75 percent of the fight and mukai moromo prevails with a unanimous 30 27 decision on all judges scorecards yeah Fu fuentes did a phenomenal job at the beginning his wrestling i think okay this is going to be you know this is going to be a problem for mukai but i also said in the first round i said how many times can he take him down because it takes a lot out of you and i hear from everybody taking somebody down takes way more power than defending the takedown you know and you saw that starting to happen in round number two you know the first round of number two still Fuentes was a head-to-head -head, and suddenly Mukai started turning the tables around look 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 start reversing why had also a great reversal in round number one actually 
and but he kept stronger and stronger and his stamina was better and he started attacking the body and Floyd's got more and more tires you know and then round three yeah he turns the tables totally over so that would have that, yeah he, he, he won that fight we talked about it it was not 30 27 absolutely not Fuentes won that first fight and uh, the first round and uh, the first half also but the guy who finishes the strongest who takes over from that one and a half round and he finishes way stronger the last one and a half round you know this the, the victory is going to go to them because what if it was would have been five rounds right I mean that it would have been totally wrong for Fuentes. So that's how the judges also see a fight. Safe to say you're impressed with the African assassin. I'm very impressed with the African assassin. You know, and uh, he, he, you see that he wants to learn. He wants to know more. The first, he, he, the very first thing he did, he came running to me. He says, "Okay, you got to start teaching me. Uh, you know, the ground, the ground, the ground, the ground." You know, that's a hungry fighter who wants to learn, and, and I like guys like that. So uh, let's see what I can do. For you. Absolutely, it's great to hear that, boss. Thanks again very much. It's great Thank to have you. you up in Canada promoting these up and coming fighters in these up and coming events. Pleasure was all mine with Boss Rutten for the Edmonton fight scene and Top MA News. I'm Dean Panis. And I'm Boss Rutten and as Owapo always says, Godspeed and party on. <laughs>